It's your boy G. Lloyd, pocket full representative, man. I said, times like this, I rhyme like this. Cause I remember days when I ain't have no pot to piss. And I remember walking past Foot Locker like I need those. I made a plan and took my time like some free throws. But now I walk past that same fucking store with no hesitation like give me that whole fucking wall. I'm dodging the feds, they probably watching right now. I know haters wanna see us and put us in nightgowns in the hospital. Or better, I see you, same niggas in the streets like, yo, I see you, hating ass niggas. They trying to brush everybody. And they Niggas is snitching, you can't trust they body. That's why I roll with niggas that I knew since I was yay high. You could get killed over your pride like them gay guys. Nights I was up in the trap and trying to rap. The fiends keep bringing me shorts, bringing me scraps. How much times I gotta tell you? It's 10 for a dime. They kept bringing seven, man, they fucking up my grind. I ain't really care, cause I had the best supply though. First of the month, it was like I hit the lotto. G Lloyd, man. Yo, what's good? It's your boy G Lloyd, pocket full BPE representative. Shout out to RottenAppleTV.com. Yo, what up? It's your boy Chris from the RottenAppleTV.com. I'm back out here in Brooklyn. With my man G Lloyd. Yes, sir. What's good, man? What up? Now, you are buzzing mm -hmm. right now in Brooklyn, man. And first, I just want to say, big fan of your music. Um, you know, met up the other day impromptu yeah <laughs> supposed to kick this off but it didn't go the way it was supposed to yeah. it was all good um so let's get into it man the progress the progress man. let's talk about it yeah hottest thing in the streets right now yes definitely man i see you got a couple of features on there um from a couple of brooklyn's hottest up and coming mcs right now yeah we got mook on there kamikaze Ka, aog d banks nucci Got a couple dudes on there working just as hard as I am, so I said, let me give them that opportunity and shine, feel me? Definitely, man. And also, I want to say, just to build up on that, um, right now, I do notice big movement coming out in the 90s right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for those who don't know, 90s, that's a section of Brooklyn, you know, East Flatbush, East New York. Uh, bringing up acts right now, such as, you know, Bobby Schmurda, Roddy Rebel, yeah. and my man right here, G. Lloyd. That's family right there. They block right here. My block right there. My block is one block over. They block is right over there. So, you know, so that's, that's crazy. So you guys actually knew each other, came up together in the block. That's what's yeah. up. So, I mean, how does it feel to see somebody like Bobby Schmurda and Roddy Feels Rebel great. getting that deal? Feels great. Because if we wasn't going to get it, somebody from Atlanta or Chicago was going to get us. It, like, it's about time New York be put back on the map for rap. Like, we're not only swag rappers. We can make real music, you feel me? Yeah, and I think people definitely forget that mm -hmm. right now. Because, you know, over the past couple of years, definitely been a lot of rappers that we could say are biters. You know, yeah, definitely. biting off the Southern style. But mm -hmm. what I notice, you guys are definitely bringing that boom bap back, that real original type of rap. Yeah. You know, with a little twist. So, Fact. Um, I mean, explain how you started because, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, most would call you a late bloomer in the game, mm -hmm. but you seem to excel pretty quick. I started rapping in September 2011, just off some chilling. I was just chilling in Miami, just seeing rappers pulling up in cars, whips. Right. We was doing the same thing. I'm like, yo, I need some of that industry bread. Facts. Got back to the studio a couple weeks later. It's history ever since. My son Vaughn from Fresh Unlimited, mm -hmm. he took me to his studio. I was just writing, just kept working on my craft, and here we are today. Nice, what's up? Now, you know, being that it's such a quick process, did you come across any doubters when you first told them, like, of listen, course. I spit? People just see me as like a street dude, get money, feel me, be in the parties. Feel me? A lot of people ain't take me serious at first, mm -hmm. even DJs. I joke around a lot too, so they're right. like, yo, you playing. Then I started, you feel me, putting out that heat, dropping videos. People started picking up, then everybody else started really dick riding after that. Every now and then, a couple people who was hating, but. Right. So, whatever, I'm gonna do me regardless. Yeah, that's how it goes, man. Like, when you're starting something, you're building from the bottom, mm -hmm. only a few can see the vision, man. And like I said, just being put on to you recently, and I definitely see the vision, definitely mm -hmm. see where you're going with it. So, where do you see yourself a couple years from now, as far as this goes? It's big, on the billboard somewhere, performing at. BET Awards, VMAs, all of that. Bring the whole hood with me. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Now, I do see that you've got a couple of relationships already with a few industry dudes. Uh, yeah. Fabulous, yeah. Uh, Meek Mill. Yeah. Uh, I mean, explain your relationship with Fab. I mean, he's kind of like Brooklyn's big brother. Yeah that's, the, yeah, that's like big bro right there. Just before I started rapping, you feel me? I used to always look up to homie. 
-hmm. My boy Kev, that's like his right hand man, Street Fam Kev, you feel me? Me and, cool. me and Kev, mm -hmm. mad cool, so you feel me? Introduced me to them one time when he was in Miami and live. Yeah. It's been love ever since then. We see each other, Vegas, Cali, whatever. It's just love, you feel me? Keep, he told me to keep doing my thing and vice versa. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Fab on that. Now, what's the next release? What's the next project? The next project, I don't even know the name of it yet, but we working on it. Currently we just lab. shooting videos right now from the progress. You about to shoot Hit Me Out probably tomorrow. But I don't know the name of the fifth project, but we working on it. Got I'm probably like three, four tracks in already. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll definitely be out probably, I say early next year. Alright, I'm looking forward to that, definitely. Now, back to the progress. Mm -hmm. I noticed a couple of tracks you definitely reflect on, you know, a few issues as far as you know, the police brutality in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. um, as far as being a young black man trying to come up. And what do you think right now as far as what's going on with everything with Mike Brown and Eric Garner? And I feel like it's corny, but at the end of the day, like cops in like these type of towns, they always gonna do whatever they want regardless. So it's like, it's only but so much we could do. Like we could protest for two, three weeks straight. That's just gonna lead to more people getting locked up. You feel me? I feel like, I feel like like they just gotta change their systems out there because like I done been locked up before. I know how these systems work. Like certain towns, you're not gonna be able to work in that town unless you're from that town. Right. You know somebody, and half the, those type of towns be the towns that's racist. You feel me? So they gonna keep it like that. And you feel me? It's fucked up. But shit, I don't know. I don't know when or how that shit gonna change. I don't know either. Do you feel like you know um, some of our our leaders, you know, like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. Mm -hmm. I, I personally feel like they're trying to make a, you know, a name off themselves as usual, you know, being in the public eye. Mm -hmm. You know, they promised a few things like, you know, a few protests and they'll get down to the bottom of the whole Eric Garner thing. I mean, what's your take on black leaders like Al Sharpton? You feel like they're dragging us further down? I feel or? like, I feel like we need somebody to step up for us, but mm -hmm. if they're not going to step up and do the right thing, then there's no need to. I don't really pay attention to shit like that, cause that's it's just gonna piss me off even more. Like I don't watch the news. I don't really care about none of that stuff. Yeah, you don't need I to. hear about it. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. I'll tune into it right. a little bit, but I'm not one to watch the news every day. Or, you feel me? Cause half of that shit is bullshit anyway. They don't talk about the good shit we do. All they talk about is the bad shit, the drugs, the violence, the killings. So, the fuck, True. I'm watching that for. Definitely, man. Yo, pleasure. Yeah, it's kicking it with you. Now, don't forget. You can download the progress. Gloydmusic.com. My website is up. Twitter.com slash Crooklynborn. Instagram.com slash Crooklynborn. YouTube.com slash Music. Beyond Platinum Entertainment.com. All that good stuff. Just type in Gloyd on Google. I'll pop up. That man's everywhere. Of course. You know where to find us? The RottenAppleTV.com. On Twitter, RottenAppleTV. Instagram, the underscore, writingapple.tv.com. Signing out.